Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. I know I've been away for a long time, but I'm back. I'm just flooded with a lot of work and yeah, I had to get the client's work out of the way before I actually do, you know, these videos. So I'm back. All right, so this photo was taken with the Sony a7 III. I was also using, um, what do you call it? A flash. The flash was actually on the camera uh and i was shooting let me see let me see my settings here real quick data good so i was shooting with the 28 to 75 millimeter lens uh, for this particular photo i was shooting at 2.8 it was um in the evening uh late evening and why i had to shoot the flash on the camera is because i left the trigger so yeah my iso was at 640 as you can see here shutter speed was at 200. all right so let's just get right to the editing the first thing i'm going to do is to crop this image and as you guys can see i am editing with a mac <laughs> i finally went over to um using a mac computer because because of my video editing yeah it's way better to be honest with you using final cut pro working with 4k images all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the crop tool and then i'm gonna select four to five ratio so when i upload this to instagram it fills the entire page all right so good so that's it all right so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna ensure that my four well my horizon is flat is in one level uh, it's okay good all right so i'm gonna remove the guidelines now all right and then i'm going to start editing process first thing i'm going to do though is to zoom the image up and i'm going to remove all the blemishes from the model's skin real quick so what i'm going to do is to create a new layer and then i'm going to come over here to the patch tool and then i'm just going to look for all the blemishes and remove them so that All right, um, that looks good. It's gonna scroll up a little bit more. It's been a while since I've done any bikini photo shoot. Uh, you know, yeah. I like shoot models in dresses and stuff like that, you know. All right, good. Let me come here. So all I'm doing is just use the patch tool and remove any blemishes I don't want on the image. All right, so that looks good. Next thing I'm gonna do now is to do some frequency separation. You can download the frequency separation action by using the link in the description. So I'm gonna click on my frequency separation action here. All right, so what I've learned recently, because wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention to the radius. If the radius is like three or two, when you apply the mixer brush to the model's uh, skin, the texture you'll have less texture, uh, less texture, if the um, the mixer brush wetness is high. So um, I'm gonna use radius uh, four because I want the skin to look a little bit soft, um, right? And then I'm gonna come here to the mixer brush, and then I'm going to leave my wet at twenty six percent. Uh, so the skin is going to be a little bit soft, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down to the low frequency layer here while on the mixer brush. I'm going to get my brush bigger by using the bracket on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to paint once. Because I don't want the image to be too soft. So it's a good practice to do it maybe once or twice. All right, let's, let's look at the before and after real quick. So before and after, realize everything come together. All right, so right here is a little bit dark, so I'm just gonna go up from the light area. What happened is that when I was pulling down, I pulled down the dark area here, because if you have a dark area and you pull it down, it's going to mix everything come down. So if you want to get rid of the dark areas, you want to mix from the light area to the dark area. And if you want to get the area bright, 
you go from the bright area to the dark area do the same thing over here so in most of my videos i normally advise you guys not to do the dark area and the light area at the same time try to do them separately so guys it's very very easy to retouch images trust me once you you just have to ensure that the image that you're taking is a good image and then when you come to retouch it it's going to be a very easy process trust me but you have to start with a good image first you can't have a bad image and expect to have a good retouch. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just using the light area and the forehead and just bring it over to the dark area and, and the left and right side of the forehead. And she did her own makeup as well. I just love when a model can do their own makeup because not all the time we can, you know, get a makeup artist to do our personal projects, you know? So it's always good when a model can do their own makeup. Because sometimes I just want to do a last minute shoot and not all the time a makeup artist will be available. So, yeah. So all I'm doing is using a mixer brush. So right here, I'm just going to mix and the skin looks natural sometimes you have to lower the size of the brush when you're at certain sections because you don't want it to bleed over on the rest of the image And not all the time you're gonna mix the entire image. Sometimes, for example, where the sun is, I don't really wanna mix too much um, where the sun is because it, it's gonna look weird. All right, I think I like what I've done. So let's look at the before and after for everything real quick. We'll put it right here so before after just by doing mixing with the mixer brush all right so what I'm gonna do now is to do some dodge and burning so I'm gonna get my dodge first I'm gonna press B on the keyboard for the brush and ensure that my flow is at 1% and my opacity at 100% so just going to highlight the forehead Try to blend out everything. Right here is a little bit dark, so I'm just going to blend it out. Right under the eye, the chin. It's a certain area that has some dark spot. You just want to get rid of the dark spot. Not sure what's happening right there, but... I'm gonna spend too much time on that. Might do a different procedure to get that color back to match. So that's the before and after right there. When you're doing retouching and photography for a long time, you would actually know what sections of the image you'd like to have light and what section you don't want to have light, you know? It's all about experience. I think I'm okay with what I've done thus far. 
I need to blend out this section here a little bit more. So I'm just going to go. So I want to blend it out a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new freaking separation action. But I'm going to delete this one. And no, I have to create a new layer first, then delete this one. Because sometimes when you create a new action, it messes up everything. So I'm going to keep this at 6.4. I'm going to go back to the lower layer. Click my mixer brush. Just going to blend this out a little bit. All right, I just think I mix something here a while ago. All right, I think I'm good with this. All right, for this section right here where it looks a little bit white, I think I'm gonna use the color correction um, tool our layer to fix it so i'm gonna hold on on the alt key which would be i'm not sure what alt would be i'm basically using a, a windows keyboard right now but yeah i'm gonna use the alt key and i'm gonna sample like this brown here here and then i'm just going to color it so if you take a look at it, see it's more matching. So look, it was white. Now it has the same texture, or same um, color. All right, good. So I'm done with that. What I'm gonna do now is to whiten the model's eye a little bit. So I'm just gonna come here to whiten teeth and eyes. I'm just gonna move this up to about 50. And then like that good all right so i think i am done let's look at the before and after for everything so before after all right uh so i'm gonna do some color grading now so i'm gonna create a new layer then go to camera raw and everybody know to find camera raw you come up to filter and then go to camera raw then I'm going to press auto and see what it looks like. All right, I don't think I like what auto looks like. But I'm going to keep it on auto and see something. I'm just going to go here to the adjustments. I'm going to go to shadows. Bring that up. Then I'm going to play out the contrast a little bit. And then I'm going to go to dehaze. Then I'm going to go to shadows again. I'm going to come down to the color, the collaboration and the blue colors. I'm going to make some adjustments to that, to our skin. I'm going to come back to um, dehaze and bring it down a little bit. Good. Perfect. So that's color grading. So that's the before color grading and that's after color grading. Um, yeah, I think I like this. For some reason, I think I'd blend here a little bit more. Let me try to do something. I'm going to use the... Alright. So that looks good. I think I like this. This is really good. Um, yeah, this is good. Uh, right, so I don't think that there's anything else I need to do. Let me just, I'm going to add some blue in the shadows. And then that's done. So let's look at the before and after real quick. I'm still trying to learn um, uh, this Mac. So I'm going to make this the before. and then I'm going to do vertical up arrange vertical up to good so 
That's the before. Let's zoom this up right up. And that's the after. Good. So, thank you guys for watching this quick retouch video. I mean, we could go a little bit more neat because I see where I need, I still have some work to do. Like, right here is not blended. I'm um, just going to blend that out and then I'm going to upload the image. So, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video. Bye bye.